Okay, good morning. This is um, Tim Downs from Vision Delivery. And Tim, I uh, understand that you have some other business as well. So first of all, tell me who you are. Yeah. Tell me in your own words what you actually do and how long you've been doing it for. Okay, all right, I will. Um, I am, I've managed a number of businesses in, in my career. Um, I spent a large part of my time uh, running a business that sold eyewear, optical frames and sunglasses into the retail outlets. Uh, we spent about 18 years doing that mm. and built it up from a complete startup uh, to the end where we were turning over about 30 million. Um, subsequent to that, I bought a little business uh, in Kent. Um, uh, that was uh, a, a business that specialised in supplying uh, retailers and um, uh, retailers and uh, restaurants with specialist IT, uh, touchscreen monitors, um, receipt printers, etc. Uh, and that business I bought and then sold again about two years later. Um, we hit a bit of a purple patch with it and were very successful. And a big trade investor came along and bought it. So uh, that was a that was. A very happy and successful story. Um, alongside of that, I have done quite a lot of consulting work for people, um, businesses wanting to do things, wanting to get their business from one place to another, and I help them achieve that uh, with some of the skills I've developed over the years. A lot of those are financial. I am originally an accountant, um, and that has always served me very well in that mission. Um, my most recent project was a business in uh, Kent, actually, that um, had come through the lockdown periods, mm. very successfully trading online, um, and suddenly found coming out of lockdown that the landscape had changed quite a lot and that the business model needed to be changed quite a lot. Um, and it found it was losing money um as a result of that so we were able over a three or four month period to change that business model um and get it back to profitability which mm. uh, the owner was very happy about um so i'm currently most of my projects are around online businesses because that's where there's a lot of change currently i think um i have another one that is selling um reading glasses online um and that is growing quite nicely um and we're looking to change that model a little bit there so that it can uh, grow even faster and so, so that's that's my consulting activity i have more recently uh, set up a new business an online uh, furniture business called design in the sand um i'm just going through the process of uh, making that work um, ensuring that my Google activity is doing the best for it and ensuring that some of my social social media activity is is working for it as well. So so those are the things I get involved in. Oh, that's great. That's great. Does that all make sense? Yeah, but that's, 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 that's great. And, you know, you something that you said at Shrek Court was you were saying how the online business is changing, is evolving as well. So what would you say has been your main um challenges and issues that you may have occurred you know in your journey as a business leader and in both businesses there more, more recently you mean with the online businesses mm -hmm. yeah i think um i think consumer activity is changing and i think we saw or have seen most recently that as we've come out of um as we've come out of the lockdown periods the consumer is now enjoying the freedom to be able to go out and shop. And, and certainly I know there's a lot of talk about the online traders in, in certain sectors being 30 or 40% down, which is causing them problems. Um, furniture particularly has never had a huge share of the online, or sorry, the online suppliers have never had a huge share of the furniture business. People do, I think, like to go and see that uh, and feel it and touch it um and that i think i think that the, the the retailers online of furniture need to just um 
be able to communicate the quality of that product much more effectively using photography um, and, and, and imagery, which yeah. is what I'm currently working on, actually. Okay, okay, great, great. And um, out of those challenges, what would you say is maybe your uh, one or two actions um, that you have taken, you know, or what's been your, your learnings from these challenges there? What's been your biggest learnings? Well, I think as ever, um, I think as ever businesses need to recognize that the landscape is forever changing and trying to track that and, and yes. trying to watch um, and see and, and ensure that the business is reacting appropriately to that ever-changing landscape. Um, mm. I think that's a challenge for all of us in business. Sure, sure. And with, with I guess, with COVID and, you know, I think we're just starting to come out of it, but... How, yeah. how did COVID-19 impact your business? I think um, for, for my consultancy business, um, it meant there, was, there were far fewer projects around because I think um, the need was very much to, to run a business to, to cope with the lockdowns and all of the problems that that brought along. Um, mm. As we're coming out of it, it's presented opportunities one of which i mentioned a little bit earlier and, and there are others too i think we are beginning to understand what the new normal is of course we're currently being faced with all sorts of other challenges and problems um but i think we can see those as more normal than the, the than the covid lockdown period i see i see that's good and what would you say i mean you know, you talk about these challenges there. What have you, what have you, or measures were you putting in place so far to help overcome these uh, business challenges that you have? I think, uh, I mean, every situation is different, isn't it? But mm. um, it's it's often about um, a head to toe review of the business. What can we do better? What can we do to offer more product? What can we do to improve our margin? What can we do to improve our sales? what can we do to reduce our costs um with the with the very straightforward objective of um improving the improving the bottom line mm, mm. increasing the beans as i like to say yeah yeah <laughs> yeah is that one of your favorite quotes <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah do you have any other quotes yeah. that you favorite quotes that you use? well <laughs> we bean counters have lots of those really don't we but um not yeah. that they're coming to mind at the moment, I'm afraid. Not that comes to mind. And <laughs> I guess as a business leader yourself there, Tim, what what have you learned about yourself, you know, as a person, you know, yeah. running your own businesses? Yeah, I think I think it's crucial um, when you're running a business, when you're when you're part of any team, I think it's crucial to recognize what your own strengths and weaknesses are. Um, mm. and I know that. I'm extremely analytical. I understand um, uh, the, the numbers are always important to me. Um, and it's always important for me in business to surround myself with people that are stronger in some of the more sensitive skills, selling skills and um, product skills and, and, and uh, visual skills, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's good good and and with that being said what's who who's your big who's your um your biggest customer who's your greatest customer that you have at the moment your best customer um well probably uh, yeah it would be unfair, wrong and unfair of me to name anybody but my biggest um my biggest customer at the moment is the online business that i've been working with to uh uh change their fortunes in terms of profitability um, it's all, my, my two big ones are both online customers, actually, where there's a lot of change currently. Um, yeah. And a lot of development. Yeah. And how about your furniture business as well? You know, I know you mentioned that as well. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah and how's, how's the, the running of your furniture business? How's that, how's that you know, well, um, it, going for you at the moment? Yeah, it's very, very early days, to be honest with you, uh, Charles. And, um, at the moment, it's all about 
creating the website, getting the photography right, getting the imagery right, and getting the mm. product right. So it's it's developmental. Um, our sales are very very early days and uh, few and far between because we're not yet investing heavily in the marketing activity. Um, but it's um, it's a fledging business uh, based on providing creative product um, and innovative product. So uh, we have great hopes for it. That's good and good. And speaking of hope, what is most inspiring you today, Artem? Oh, today, what is aspiring me? What am I aspiring to today? Do you, yeah, do you or what is most inspiring you to today? I mean, what has been really like, okay, it's been like your sweet spot. It's really inspiring. It's motivating you um, to keep going and to keep, keep moving as a business oh. leader. No, I'm, yes, I, that's interesting. I, it doesn't take much to motivate me, I must okay. say. I, I get okay. up in the morning and, um, yeah, once I'm up, I'm, I'm ready to go and, and, and moving. Um, I think there's a great many difficulties in the world at the moment, so, but I, I, there's no point in taking any notice of that. You can only work on the positive things and make those happen, can't you? Yeah, yeah, because it's like it's like what gets shut about. Why are you doing this? You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, to be fair, um, I love business. I love people. I love working in teams, and I love working with people. And I think that's what motivates me always is um, finding people I enjoy working with and, and and getting on with it. That's so good. Team and spirit. what would you? Um, what advice would you give? Uh, to let's say 18 year old who wanted to start their own business, what advice would you give to them? Um, make sure it's something that you are passionate about and, and enjoy. Don't try just creating a business for the sake of creating a business. Look for what you enjoy and do something with that. That's good, that's good. And what would you say if you had to start all over again what would you do differently if you had so oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing at all nothing at all there's no point in thinking about that um we are where we are and uh you know if you change one little thing in your past who knows where that would have led you to anyway so um no nothing nothing okay that's great <laughs> that's so enjoyable 